hi guys welcome to this new video in this video i want to teach you how to view or run your react on next.js application on your mobile device let's get into the code quickly so before before you get into this you make sure you have node.js installed and you also have npm installed so you just create a new terminal um currently here i'm using vs code as my code editor so you create a new terminal and you run npx create react app then the next you give a space then the next thing that comes is the name of the folder it can be anything i can call it a demo app or i can call it my app and i'll click enter this takes a couple of uh, minutes or if you have a very good internet it takes um seconds to to create the app and do everything install all the packages um so we'll just keep this and come back in we have our application installed now we need to enter into the folder and see that um uh, what react has installed for us so we see the into the my app folder that we just created while running the command mps create react app and we run npm start that is a command for starting a react application npm start so let's give it a um some few seconds to do all the underground on the background um configuration and settings and yes we're back starting development server this will be accessible in our localhost 3000 now in order to run this application on your mobile device you need to know what network you are sometimes the react application shows you what network you are here but sometimes you don't get this um, um network config so to get this network config we can always have access to the, to know what network we are connected to and mind you make sure that both the phone you want to run the react application and the system you want to run the that is um running the react application are on the same local area network so for us to get the um for us to get the the network that we are currently to be able to check on our phone i'm using a windows machine so i'll just go to my command prompt and i'll run ip config ip config once i'm done with that command ip config once i'm done with that command you will see i have a certain address under um the ipv ipv4 address i will copy that address and place put it inside my device most times it comes like um three digits with a dot three digits with a dot and uh, maybe anyhow it differs guys don't forget to like and subscribe and please share this video thank you